My name is Chris Brandt. I work for the Nimbus School of Recording Arts. Uh, we are a 24-hour-a-day world-class studio that was uh, founded by a couple of big name producers, Garth Richardson, who's worked with Rage Against the Machine, um, Rise Against, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Bob Ezrin, who did Pink Floyd The Wall, Peter Gabriel, Kiss, uh, and Kevin Williams, who ran Hot Soul Music, uh, the preeminent uh, music educator in the province. And the three of them formed Nimbus a little under two years ago. We do courses in engineering and production and music business and artist development. I teach the music business program. And uh, tonight is a showcase event uh, to hit a couple of different levels. One is to provide bands for our students. Our students that are recording in the studios always need bands to record. And we wanted to raise the bar for the bands that were available to them to come in and record. So we put a promotion up on Sonic Bids, soliciting bands to apply for a showcase event, which is tonight. Um, the music business students pick the top four bands. Then the production students will come in tonight and judge and uh, select at least one band to get a minimum of three songs recorded at Nimbus. Uh, our teachers often have gold records. Uh, they're all working in the industry right now, so as opposed to people who are just teaching, everyone is in the business right now and uh, mentoring the students. So the students will record the winning band. The thing is, we have so many students, it's entirely possible that more than one band will get picked up for free studio time tonight. They may all get picked up. Instead of three songs, it may be an entire album. Bands that didn't even make the showcase are held in the talent pool, and they may even get selected for studio time. So we wanted to provide some decent bands an opportunity to get some free studio time and our production students uh, quality bands to be able to work with. Uh, on another front we do a lot of work with music therapy and we're putting a recording studio in a children's hospital. All of the proceeds tonight will go to the Music Therapy Foundation over at Children's Hospital to help them um, do incredible things. The biggest rock stars that we've ever met do music therapy. Uh, a friend of ours who was going to perform tonight, and unfortunately she's in the hospital, is an example of music therapy in action. Her name's Megan McNeil, recorded a song, The Will to Survive. I encourage everyone to check it out on YouTube. Last time I checked, I think it was 16,000 views. And uh, so tonight, with her not able to perform, she's in the hospital, we'll show the video instead. All of the money raised from that goes to childhood uh, cancer programs. Uh, and so she's an example of music therapy in action. The song was recorded at Nimbus, the video was recorded at Nimbus, and she's someone that we're all a really big fan of and, and wanted to support as well. Uh, for the school, it's a promotional tool, getting the, the word out for Nimbus. We want to do this every three months. So have this as an industry night. So the first hour tonight is industry people, lawyers, managers, artists, labels coming down, a chance for the students to meet them, for the local industry to connect, for the bands that play in the bill tonight to have an opportunity to meet these people. So it's a networking event for the first hour, <laughs> then we're going to go into the Battle of the Bands tonight and uh, an opportunity for just four great bands to play and every three months we're going to do this and have great bands come down and uh, give people an opportunity that hopefully whether they're a fan of the individual bands or just because they've been to a past one that they come down uh, each time and uh, yeah, just be part of the Nimbus family.